Hi, in this video, I'm going to tell you how to remember the heart rates of children. The heart rate of children is the highest at birth. And then with every few months or age, the average heart rate and its normal range decreases. And the heart rate of the adult is much lower than that of children. And in children, we can categorize them into seven groups of birth, 0 to 6 months, 6 months to 12 months, 1 to 2 years, 2 to 6 years, 6 to 10 years, and 10 to 14 years. So the first number that we need to remember is 140 because the average heart rate of the child at the age of 0 days, that means at birth, is 140. So the average heart rate of newborn is 140, though the range is from 90 to 190 so it is 140 plus or minus 50 so the normal heart rate of a child at birth is anywhere between 90 to 190 and the average is 140 so you just need to remember this one and then there's a way to remember the average heart rate um, and the range for the rest of the six categories that is from 0 to 6 months, more than 6 months to 12 months, 1 to 2 years, 2 to 6 years, 6 to 10 years and 10 to 14 years. It's not going to be an easy thing to remember. Every time you might have to write it down in order to tell the average heart rate of um, a 6 to 10 year old or the range of a 10 to 14 year old. If you ask me right now, even I can't tell, but I remember that method to calculate it. And then so every time I can write it down on a piece of paper and tell the answer. So this is how it goes. Imagine that uh, there are three candies kept in line. OK, so there's a there are 10 year old um, children. There are children over here who are supposed to get that candy. So. Uh, first, the first three candidates we have to get the, those candies are 10 year olds. So we assign each candy to a 10 year old, a 10 year old and a third 10 year old. So it is 10, 10, 10. So what we do with these numbers 10, 10, 10, we deduct these 10 for these tens from the average heart rate and the uh, upper value of the range and the lower value of the range. So what we have is 140 minus 10. Next we have is 90 minus 10. Then we have um, 190 minus 10. So let's try to, I'm not, I'm, I'm doing this without looking anywhere. So let's try to get it straight. Though I'll have a list of these numbers on the page. I'm trying to do this on the go. So we have 130, 80 and 180, right? So for a 0 to 6 months old baby, the average heart rate is 130. The lower limit of the range is 80. The upper limit of the range is 180. So again, this is 130 plus minus 50. Anyway, let's go to the next one. It becomes complicated. It's not always minus 10, minus 10, minus 10, minus 10. It becomes really complicated. So now the story goes like this, that the other kids also want those candies. So they're like, um, you know, we should not always give, give the candies to the 10 year olds. We should give a chance to a 15 year old, a five year old. And then there's another childish 25 year old who also wants a candy. So we give it to 15 year old, 5 year old and 25 year old. The 5 comes in between, you should remember that because um, the 5 is the smallest, he stays in the middle, okay? The 15 year old and 25 year old are protecting him while they are going to get the candy, so the 5 year old in this is in the center. So we have 15, 5 and 25. So what do we have here now? 130 minus 15. So what is that? 115. And then for the lower limit, the last number was, uh, the previous number was 80, 80 minus 5. So we have 75. 
and the upper limit was 180 minus 25 so we have 155 so now we have 115 and we have uh, 75 and 155 now for the third round of candies it has been decided that only children should get it so all of them should be five years old why should you give it to someone who is 15 or 25 years of age so next in the next round three five-year-olds come to get those candies so it is five five and five so we have 115 minus 5 that is 110 is the average heart rate and then the lower limit of the range it was 75 so it is now 70 and the upper limit of the range was 155 so now it is 150 so for the next round of candy distribution they decided to not to give it to five-year-olds anymore but to give it to seven to twelve years of age children so when i say seven to twelve it does not mean seven eight nine ten eleven twelve we cannot give it to six children there are, it's just three numbers so now if you write down seven to twelve it is seven two and twelve so in the next one from the average we'll reduce seven so now we have 103 we'll reduce 2 from the lower limit of the range 70 minus 2 that is 68 now from the upper limit of the range we will reduce 12 so we had 150 minus 12 that is 138 all right next um, instead of giving to 7 to 12 we will increase one number now it does not make sense in this candy distribution thing anymore let's say that uh, another person who was uh, doing this numbering he messed up and he added one number to um, all of these 7 to 12 so he wrote down 8 3 13 by mistake so the next numbers are 8 3 and 13 so for the next group the average heart rate is what was the last one let me remember uh, it was it was 103 so 103 minus 8 so we get an average heart rate of 95 and then for the lower limit of the range it was 68 68 minus 3 65 and then 138 minus 13 we have 125 now there's a lot of issue going on here now a five-year-old old is getting, 15-year-old is getting, 25-year-old getting. Remember the first three kids who are 10, 10, 10 years of age, they come back to the scene again and they're like, those candies are ours, we'll take it. So again, the last few numbers are minus 10, minus 10, minus 10. 95 minus 10, 85. So 65 minus 10, it is 55, right? 125 minus 10, 115. So these numbers, these are the average, lower limit and upper limit of the heart rate of the group between 10 to 14 years of age. I hope it made sense and this helps you remember the heart rate of children, which is quite difficult for us to remember if you're not a pediatrician or even if you are a pediatrician, this may be a bit confusing. For us, uh, we see pediatric patients rarely and we don't remember these numbers by heart but i hope by this method you can write it down whether it's for your exam or for your clinical practice you can do this numbering thing let me get it again it was 10 10 10 and then it was uh, 15 5 25 then 5 5 5 then 7 2 12 8 3 13 and then 10 10 10 so this gives you the average heart rate lower limit and upper limit of the range of the newborn 0 to 6 months 6 to 12 months 1 to 2 years 2 to 6 years 6 to 10 years and 10 to 14 years i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel do leave some comments on whether this was good or not and then like the video thanks a lot